Hello, this is not what I want to do and not a fun day for me. But I guess it's officially April 19th of 2023. And my, my little man's passed away. Oh, guys passed away. And I feel like I'm not an effective Christian. His name is Sosa. Because I wasn't able to bring him back from the dead. I wasn't able to raise the dead. Because Paul writes in 1 Corinthians 15, 15, 16, that if the dead are not still raised, then Christ was never raised from the dead. Well, we know he was, so we know that the dead are still being raised today. But it didn't happen for me today. And I feel like that I'm a failure as a Christian. feel like I'm ineffective as a Christian because of it. And uh, I always wonder when this day would come <laughs> that I would have to have that I would have to dig a hole this size. But there it is. I, I want to get on here that I'm very upset and I feel like Almighty Lord God Jesus let me down because I did everything that I knew how to do. I prayed every way that I knew how to pray in English and in tongues with as much faith and with as much thanks for it already being done as I could do. I administered CPR. I called him back into his life. I mean, I called him back into his body. So, so come back into your body in the name of Jesus. I did everything that I knew how to do. I got out the Bible. I read Hebrews for 12 about the Word of God is alive and sharper than any two-edged sword. I read all of Eze the chapter of Ezekiel 37, the Valley of Dry Bones. And when I was doing that, I began to feel the Holy Spirit power rise in me and the confidence that he was going to be raised, but he didn't get raised. And although I feel like Jesus let me down, I know that it's my immaturity and my lack of understanding more than anything else. It's got to be, it's my lack of understanding. That there are some things that I don't know, that there are some things that I don't understand. But Thank you, Lord. I know that you didn't kill my dog. You didn't make him sick. You didn't make him have a heart attack. Thank you, Almighty Lord God Jesus, for the time that I had with him, the years, and the things that we did, including that we hiked Pikes Peak Mountain together all the way to the top. It took a day and a half. We camped out in the A-frame.
I'm sorry, Lord. I know I'm not a failure as a Christian. I just feel like one right now. And I know I'm not ineffective as a Christian. I just feel that way right now. But feelings are not the truth. The Word of God is true. Let the Word of God be true and every man a liar. Amen. Thank you, Lord. I was asking uh, Stan just a little bit ago. I said, uh, is in Revelations, Reve sorry, Revelation 5, 8, I believe, that says that the uh, that there are these vials, these golden vials uh, of odors, and that they are the prayers of the saints. And then I believe it's in Revelation 8 and uh, somewhere in there, maybe Revelation 8, 3 and 4, that the, uh, that the seventh uh, seal is broken and that there was a silence in heaven for about the half an hour. And uh, then some things happened, including I believe these uh, vials were poured out, these prayers of the saints. And I asked Dan, what happens when we pray a prayer in faith as a Christian? And, and you know, we do everything that we know to be right, including thanking the Lord for the result of it when we finish praying and expecting immediately to have a result that we prayed for. I said, do those prayers get put into the vials? Do they get poured into the vials that will be poured out? I love you, and Almighty Lord God Jesus loves you infinitely more. Look what he's done for you. I'm sorry, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for uh, this, this dog's life down here. Thank you that he's in heaven and will never suffer any more pain or fear or nightmares or anything like that. Uh, no ab abuse or anything like that. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Amen.